bought every single chocolate bar that we could find. And we're gonna mix them all into one ultimate chocolate bar. Jason, do you actually think if we melt every single chocolate bar that it's gonna taste good? No, because I don't think all the chocolate's gonna mix together. I might think that is actually the best mix ever. But let's find out, Jason. So we got two chocolate molds, thanks to Sterrett, a glass bowl in which we can cook the chocolate. And that's all you need to make the one ultimate chocolate bar. Guys, how much money do you think we spent to buy all this chocolate? And whoever gets it right, gets picked. Which chocolate bar you want to start with, Jason? Let's start with the Mr. Beast chocolate. Damn, that's a great idea. Yeah. So, we're gonna start with the Mr. Beast chocolates, the one I've already take, took a bite out of. There we go. All right, now that we got Hershey's uh, Choco Tube, and it's Cookies and Cream. And I got the Galaxy Ripples. They taste very good, I think. Let me let me try. Um, does this taste good? Yeah. Well, so let's mix it in. Just take a little piece out of it. Let's put that in. Kit Kat cookies and crumble. Galaxy crispy. Kit Kat raspberry. I need to try that before I put it in, Jason. Yeah, probably. Then we got an awesome mm -hmm. look. Huh? This stuff is amazing, Jason. Me. Mm -hmm. I swear. This stuff is a 10 out of 10. I'm putting the whole bar in. Yeah, it's fine. so good. Kinder Buenos, my favorite chocolate as well. Okay. Super good. Can I put this piece in? Now I'm moving to the big bars. Milka Chips Ahoy. Kinder Maxi. Oh, this one's a classic. That's, this one's a classic. And we got a Kit Kat Crunchy Lotus Biscuit. And we got a Twix Stop. Look at this stuff. Wow. Put that in here. Milka bubbly white in the meantime, that must be a good one as well. Milka chocolate is actually one of my favorite chocolates, it's really good. I don't like this one, it's not good. I'm gonna put a little piece in there. Dark chocolate, that must taste very well. I'm gonna put this much in there. Bowl is filling up already, Jason, look at this. Jason, how are we gonna melt the nuts? We, you cannot melt nuts, how are, how are we gonna do that? So if it's hard to melt it, well, I only took the caramel and the chocolates. I'll put that in there. I've always eaten Twix when I was younger. Oh, yeah. So the Twix is absolutely When amazing. I was younger, I hated them. Really? I, yeah. So what we're now gonna do, we're gonna speed up the process. We're gonna do like 10 chocolate bars per minute per person. So let's, let's hurry up. Hurry up, Roche. I don't like this. Put it in there. Let's go. Uh, Eero, I don't know what chocolate brand this is. Let me try it. Mmm. Absolutely amazing. Put it in there. M&M's. It's not a chocolate bar. Why do we have it? I think, yeah, let's put it in. Put it in there. Let me try it first. Wow! Let me try these first! Mmm. Amazing! Get the chocolate in. Nope. Oh. Alright, so we got 20 chocolate bars left. So open all these 20 chocolate bars in 20 seconds, Jason. You think we can do that? Yes, and this is the coffee test of Kit Kat. This is a big break. Big break. So now we got everything here. We're gonna mix everything beautifully. Everything is mixing very nicely, very smoothly. We're gonna give this thing a five minute mix and after five minutes of mixing, we're gonna put it in this chocolate mold and we're gonna make the best chocolate bar we've ever had, Jason. Come on, Jason, you can do it. Mix it in a nice manner. All right, so this is how it's looking. It's looking very nice. So everything is completely melted and we're gonna take this out. It's not hot at all because it's indirect heat that comes from steaming water and the glass is very thick. So now we're gonna put all the chocolate in the mold and see how it's gonna look. Okay. Wow, that smells actually amazing, Jason, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So that looks beautiful. So let's now spread it all the way in the mold. So Jason, go ahead, put it in the freezer. So it's gonna be about 10 minutes and then it sure will be frozen. Okay, so our chocolate is ready and now we can eat it. So ready to get it out? Yep. Oh, that was easy. Wow, you see, that looks perfect. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, we go. got it, it's open. Yeah. You see the inside of Twixes, you see the inside of M&M's, you got nuts, everything is inside there. I have no idea how this is gonna taste. All right, so let's taste it in three, two, two one. one, go. It tastes a lot of like mint. For me, every bite that I take, it's a different taste. I taste a little mint, I taste M&M's, I taste Twix, I taste Snickers. There's, I literally taste everything and you know what? I can't like it. But I only taste mint, but I really don't like it. It makes my hand really uh, chocolatey because we put too much chocolates in there. So I give it a one. You give it a one? I give it a one. I told you it would be horrible. Actually, I do kind of like it and I'm giving it a seven out of 10. The taste is actually quite good. It's crunchy. It has M&Ms inside. Every different bite that you take gives me another taste. So I, I really like it. Seven out of 10 for me. 
Maybe it's your piece of the chocolate. Let me taste that. Beautiful. Isn't it amazing, Jason? No. Still the mint. I can still taste the mint. Do we advise our viewers to do that at home Absolutely as well? Absolutely not. Don't do it. Don't do it. And also, your hands become very chocolatey. It's... Yeah, yeah, that that doesn't matter, but I have to say, we, we, we used a lot of chocolate to melt it into one. Oh, and by the way, let us know what video you want us do, to do next. This was actually an idea of one of our viewers, to mix every single chocolate bar into one bar. If you have any new ideas, let us know. Exactly. The total bill was about $160. If you got it right, well, pin your comments.